Welcome to my PC room. This is where the magic happens. You thought the magic happened in the kitchen? No, it happens right here. Disclaimer, this tutorial is specifically for Premiere Pro. So if you don't have that, get lost. First things first, you took your footage and you have it on your memory card, but how do you get it from your memory card to your computer? This is the stuff nobody talks about because they think you're smart, but I don't think you're smart. So what you're gonna need is a USB SD card reader. You just plop your SD card right in there. <laughs> Then you plug it right into your PC. Once you plug in your USB drive, something like this should pop up. Click M4 root, click clip, and then all of your files will be right here. Advice, never edit your raw files. Always transfer them off of your SD card onto a safe place on your drive. If you start editing on your SD card and you put that SD card back in your camera, your files are gonna get corrupted. Don't do it. This is a super, super basic Premiere Pro color grading tutorial. Trusting you have it, open up Premiere Pro. You're gonna go to new project, select all the files you wanna import, and press import. At the bottom here in your sequence tab, you have all the clips that you want to edit. When you're color grading, to make things easier for yourself, you're gonna click new item in the project tab, click adjustment layer. I'm gonna add an adjustment layer above my clip. So once I've selected my adjustment layer, you're gonna look over at the Lumetri color tab and I start with the basic corrections first. Basic rule of thumb, I usually mess with the exposure first. So if I think the video is too bright, I'll make it darker. If I think it's too dark, I'll make it brighter. And I like to bring the whites up and the highlights up just a little bit so it looks a little bit more dreamy. When it comes to temperature in this clip, I don't want to get it too hot because I'm going to look like I'm in a sauna. So I think where it was was pretty good. When you click this on and off, this is what we did. So much better, right? I can see. Warmth is a factor you can play with depending on what appearance you want to achieve. Let's move on to the second clip. I have placed a different adjustment layer right over top of my second clip so I can adjust this layer without disturbing what I just did. As you can see in the sample footage, the whites are completely blown out, which means it's overexposed. Can I save this? Let's see. I bring the exposure down. Yes, I can see the sky. I can see the edges of the building now, but the foreground is lost. It's getting a little bit too dark. So let's bring that back up a little bit. To isolate the sky, I'll bring the highlights and the whites down. I bring the contrast up so the buildings in the front don't get lost and the blacks down. Next, I open curves to play with the colors in the sky. And it's also gonna play with the blue in the buildings, but I don't really mind that. It looks kind of cute. Original, edited. Of course, there's so many more fancy things you could do, but this is super, super basic. If you really need to use the shot, this will save it. You have to learn how to correct your footage and make it plain before you can make it fancy. You know what I mean? Good luck.